Hi everyone, welcome to the first video of my channel. I'm very excited to finally be sharing this series with you, so I'm going to jump right ahead and talk about the type of videos that you'll be seeing in the next upcoming months. So the series is going to be called the Web Security Academy series, and that's because we'll be using the Web Security Academy platform that is uh, developed by Portswigger. For those of you that have never heard of the Web Security Academy, it's essentially a free online training platform for web application security. Again, it was developed by the Portswigger uh, research team, and uh, one of the authors is actually the author of the Web Application Hackers Handbook, which is considered to be the uh, Bible of web application security. This is a book that I personally read and studied from when I first got started in this field, and I'm a huge fan of it. Although it hasn't been updated since about 2011, uh, the fundamentals are still the same. And uh, I always recommend it to anyone that asks me how to get started in this field. Uh, that being said, um, I do recognize that we are in a constantly evolving field with new vulnerabilities and attack vectors uh, coming out every day. And so I've always recommended this book with uh, additional outside resources uh, that tackled modern web technologies. However, when I heard that the author of the book had started a Web Security Academy, I obviously immediately signed up. And just like I'm a huge fan of the book, I'm also a huge fan of the Academy. And so uh, now whenever anyone asks me, I recommend the Web Application Hackers Handbook for the Fundamentals and the Web Security Academy for hands-on experience. Now, uh, before we continue, it's worth mentioning that I'm not in any way affiliated to Portswigger. This is just me sharing a platform that I think is very useful to the community. All right, let's go to their website and look at the type of training uh, that they provide. So to access the Academy, visit portswigger.net slash web security. You'll be presented with this page over here where you could sign up in order to access the labs. We're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to go down and click on View All Learning Materials. This presents you with the page uh, that lists all the topics that the Academy covers. We're going to go down one more time and click on Web Security Academy. Okay, so most people don't know that uh, the Academy has a learning path. So this is essentially the suggested learning path by Portswigger or anyone that is either new to web security or doesn't know which topic to begin with. Um, and it's a path that we'll be following in our videos. It's divided into three sections. So server side topics, client side topics and advanced topics. For the server-side topics, um, it, it covers the vulnerabilities that affect the backend of the application. So uh, examples include SQL injection, uh, command injection, SSRF, so server-side request forgery, and so on. For the second section, uh, client-side topics, uh, that covers uh, the vulnerabilities that affect the front end of the application. So a common example is cross-site scripting, uh, clickjacking, uh, vulnerabilities that affect WebSockets. So this is not common, but definitely an interesting class of vulnerabilities to look into. And then you've got the advanced topics. So uh, topics that require uh, vulnerabilities that require a deeper understanding of uh, the material. And uh, examples include insecure deserialization, server-side template injection, uh, so this is definitely relevant to modern technologies and same goes with this one, OAuth authentication and so on. And you'll see each, uh, each topic uh, has uh, a bunch of labs associated to it. So the nice thing that I like about the Academy is the fact that it can be uh, easily updated. So unlike the book, which hasn't been updated since uh, 2011, uh, you'll see that the Academy is constantly updated by the Portswigger team. Um, so you'll see them add uh, new labs uh, to existing topics or new topics as a whole. And the vulnerabilities that they cover in the Academy are realistic vulnerabilities that are found in the wild. All right, let's go back uh, to the slides and talk about how the videos complement uh, the Web Security Academy. 
So my vision for the videos is that if you follow the, uh, if you watch the videos, you do the exercises in the academy and you have the book as a reference. So you read the book, uh, then you would be up to an intermediate level of knowledge in terms of your web application pen testing uh, skills. So to get to an advanced level, you obviously need years of real world experience. Uh, however, if you, uh, if you have these three resources, if you follow these three resources, then you should be above a beginner level, about an intermediate level in terms of your knowledge. So the videos will essentially just complement uh, the academy and, uh, the, and the book. Um, we'll be following the same learning path uh, that Portswigger uh, recommended. And so we'll start off with the SQL injection module. For each module, we'll have two types of videos, uh, theory videos and lab videos. For the theory videos, uh, we'll cover the background knowledge uh, that is required in order to, uh, to do the hands-on exercises. So we'll, uh, we'll cover the technical details of the vulnerability, how to detect it, so how to find it, how to exploit it, and then how to prevent it. Uh, the pictures that you see on the slides over here are from the SQL injection theory video that is coming out next week. And that's something that I forgot to mention earlier. Videos are scheduled to come out on a weekly basis. Um, now for the theory videos, we'll go more in depth than the academy in terms of technical details, and uh, it will be more in line with the Web Application Hackers Handbook. Okay, now once uh, you have the background knowledge, we'll jump into the lab exercises. Each lab has a dedicated video where we exploit the vulnerability manually first, and then we script it. Um, that's something uh, that I'm really focusing on in the labs. I believe that to be an effective uh, pen tester, you do need to know at least one scripting language. And you'll see a lot of debate about this online, but the reality is during, during your pen testing career, you will come across situations where it's very unrealistic that you can exploit a vulnerability using only manual means. And a classic example of that uh, that we'll see in the videos and in the labs is Boolean-based blind SQL injection, where you're stuck asking the application uh, true and false questions. And if you want to, uh, and if you want to properly exploit that vulnerability and extract, for example, password hashes or reset tokens, uh, you need to send hundreds, if not thousands, of requests to the application. So if you don't know how to script it, all you would have to show to the client is the fact that there is a blind SQL injection vulnerability, because that's easy, that can be done with one request. However, uh, you can't really show the detrimental effect of exploiting uh, that vulnerability. So that's why in each lab, uh, we will script the exploit, uh, regardless of how trivial it is. And uh, our programming uh, uh, language of choice is going to be Python 3. All right, uh, that's how the videos will be structured. Now let's discuss the type of individuals that will find the videos useful. The first obvious answer is our individuals that are trying to get into the web application pen testing field. Again, I've mentioned this earlier and I'll mention it over here. Um, if anyone asks me how to get into this field, I always recommend the Web Application Hackers Handbook for the fundamentals and the Web Security Academy for hands-on experience. Uh, and these videos will just complement those two resources. Up next, we've got the web developers. Uh, so the idea is that we develop secure applications from the get-go. And so learning how web app pen testers test uh, applications that could be very useful to web app developers when they're, um, when they're developing uh, their applications. And then we have the bug bounty hunter. So I personally don't do bug bounty, but I do follow a bunch of people that have experience in that field. And I read the write-ups when uh, their bugs get published. Um, and I can say for sure that the Academy covers realistic uh, vulnerabilities that are found in uh, the wild. Up next, we've got uh, the individuals who want to enroll in the OSWE. So the Offensive Security Web Expert Certification. This might be the majority of you. So uh, this is a white box web application pen testing certification offered uh, by Offensive Security. I'm currently working through the certification and I always uh, get questions and get asked um, 
uh, the type of knowledge that people need uh, before uh, they need before they enroll in the certification. So how to prepare for the cert. And I always mention it, and I'll mention it again over here, is that this certification is definitely not an entry level certification, and it's not advertised as an entry level certification. So um, having gone through the material myself, you definitely need a year's worth of experience in web app pen testing, whether that's uh, through your profession or through bug bounty hunting um, or through resources like this. But you definitely need at least a year's worth of experience before you enroll in the cert. Um, I'll have a separate video uh, discussing uh, my experience with the OSWE certification, but for now, if you're looking to enroll in the cert sometime in the future, then a great resource would be to first enroll in the Web Security Academy and uh, start learning about all the different types of vulnerabilities that could potentially exist in applications. Now, another thing that we do in the videos that would be very useful for the certification is the fact that we script all of our exploits. So in the certification, you're going to have to chain a bunch of vulnerabilities to first bypass authentication and then to eventually gain remote code execution. And uh, that chain of vulnerabilities needs to be uh, scripted in one script uh, so that when you run the script, it automatically does all that for you. And uh, that's what we do in the videos. Uh, so if you gain a little bit of experience in that uh, before you enroll in the cert, it's definitely going to come in handy when you are working in the um, OSWE labs. Okay, last but not least, I'm being a little bit ambitious with this last one, but everyone else, so anyone that is interested in this field, I'm sure you'll find uh, uh, something in these videos uh, useful. And uh, that wraps up uh, the Security Academy series intro. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and share the video so that it reaches a wider audience. Also comment below any suggestions you have for future videos. Thank you and see you in the next video.